Hey everybody, Jim here from Racers and Rods. Hey, I've got a cool custom for you today. I'm gonna to show you a little video here, walk around it in a little bit, give you a sneak peek. We're gonna see if you know what it is. I didn't know what it was when I found it. I met Conrad here at a local car show. We're gonna get you to take a peek at it, and then he's gonna tell you all about it. You're gonna like this one. My name is Conrad. Hey, how you doing guys? A friend of mine said, hey, take a look at this car. I did. Brought it home. It was a great project. And uh, five years later, I turned it into this. Solstice, the rain would come through the, um, the vents. So I filled them all in and did my venting on the side this time. And by doing that, I used Jeep Grand Cherokee grill parts to allow my air to go in. So when I'm using natural air, I can open and close the door inside the interior and I get fresh air that way. Moving along, we've got the radar custom magnesium mag wheel made in the 60s followed by the factory disc brake setup that the company had made it 1965 and the only other company that did disc brakes in the front was a Corvette so this car was a bit of its head of its time the front end is totally changed from the obvious reason I didn't like the way it looked so I removed the headlights, put these headlights in it. I brought the front down to modify the actually length of these are Grand Charger Eagle Eye headlights. The front bumper is handmade. The, the fairing is all handmade. The grill is handmade. The fish on the front represents a Marlin. That used to be a bottle opener. All the trim work was done by myself. All the mechanical, electrical, and paint. I did all of it myself. The interior shows factory recovered seats. The door panels are upgraded from Lexus SUV, Mercedes Benz door guards, Toyota mirror control. Dolphin gauges, GPS speedometer, air conditioned, which I'll show you later from the motor, Bluetooth radio, front camera, rear camera, and airbag set up on the front. On the back of the car, I took the emblem that used to lay flat on the trunk and I rotated it and it's called Frenching. So I Frenched it and rotated it and made a third eye brake light out of it. So that lights up when I hit the brakes and it's more or less a safety feature because the stock lights in the back only had one single bulb and they really didn't light up that much but they look great. What I used here was a late model Chevrolet 350 crate motor. All the AC components all were in installed and put in there by myself. Master cylinder, everything you see has been added to this car that really wasn't in this condition. The firewall was all rotted out when I first started. I had to replace the firewall. That's all been redone. All I can say is I appreciate the car so much but I couldn't afford to get it back stock. So I did it a different way. Hope you enjoy.